Thank you for coming to see me at Radio City Music Hall. I love to play venues where if the guy that built the venue could see me on the stage, he would be a little bit bummed about it. <laughs> Look at this. This is so much nicer than what I'm about to do. It's really, it's really tragic. What a historic and beautiful and deeply haunted building this is. I keep walking through cold spots being like, I wonder who that used to be. I've never seen a ghost, by the way. I asked my mom if she'd ever seen a ghost. That's where we're at conversation-wise in our relationship as a mother and son. Because I'm 35 and I don't have any children to talk about. And she doesn't understand my career. So I was home for Christmas and we were just eating Triscuits in silence. And I was staring at the floor and I was like, well, here goes nothing. You ever seen a ghost? <laughs> and my mom said, yes which is the best answer. She said, I never told you this before, but our house when you were growing up was haunted. I said, say more right now. <laughs> she said, outside you in your brother's room, I used to see the ghost of a little girl in a Victorian nightgown, and then she would walk down the hallway, and then she would evaporate. And then my dad said, let's change the subject. <laughs> and I think he was just doing that dad thing of like, this is a weird topic. And I want to talk about a book I read about World War II. But <laughs> the way it came off was that he definitely killed that little girl. <laughs> let's change the subject. Why are we even talking about Penelope or whatever her name was? I didn't kill her. Whoever did kill her only did it to protect her from this world. <laughs> ah, none of us really know our fathers. Anyway.